give Anish first. Start your snap. Uh, yes, sir. For which organization you are applying? Sir, Oil India Limited, Electrical Engineer. Okay. And sir, so you want to give the snap for which subject? Sir, uh, I think uh, induction machine would be the most appropriate uh, machine that we should discuss. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. <clears throat> okay. What are the starting method of induction motor? Sir, uh, for a single phase induction motor, we have uh, starting methods like uh, uh, capacitor start, capacitor start, capacitor run, resistance start, and uh, so, uh, shaded pole methods. So basically the major categorization is split phase and split pole, wherein the uh, split pole is the shaded pole one and the split phase is the uh, capacitor start and uh, resistor start. And in case of uh, three phase, uh, we have uh, DOL starters and uh, star delta starter, auto transformer starter, resistance and reactance starter. Okay, so which among this, uh, let's, let's talk about the <coughs> BYF control, speed controlling. Yes, sir. Uh, speed controlling of three phase induction motor. In the speed control of single phase, sir. Three phase induction motor. Three. Okay, sir. By the by, the BVF control method, BVF control method. Okay, sir. Okay, so how we can control this? Sir, uh, uh, we can uh, vary the voltage and frequency, uh, stator voltage uh, and frequency, sir, so keeping the ratio of V by F constant. That's how uh, we um, uh, control the speed. And sir, uh, this control is employed on the stator side. Below slip region or below above slip region, what is the meaning of this? Sir, it means that uh, below slip region. Yeah, below base speed. Okay, okay. Sir, ba below base speed is that uh, the rated speed, uh, if uh, the uh, control we are using is employed such that the speed we are getting is below the base speed. That is mm -hmm. the uh, below. Uh, that is the below base speed uh, method. And uh, for uh, in certain cases, if uh, we we employ some some method if, um, for which we get above the uh, base speed, that is the above base speed method. For example, sir. Yeah, what what is yes, this? Yeah, listen. Yes, <clears throat> we are very much concerned about the slip. So how yes, this sir. slip comes in the play? And we're talking about the VYF control, uh, generally with the help of the drive. So in practically how it is being controlled? Okay, so sir, uh, slip, first of all, slip is the relative speed between the uh, RMF and the rotor speed uh, expressed in terms of per unit synchronous speed. And sir, it is important in such a way that uh, uh, rotor always tries to catch to the RMF in the motor. And in that process, it runs. So we are achieving the running of the motor and hence the slip uh, comes into picture because as the word says itself, the amount of uh, rotor, how much it is slipping back from the RMF. So that's why it is important. And sir, uh, the V by F uh, is uh, coming into picture in such a way that uh, by uh, the help of V by F control, we can... Uh, 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 we can, um, uh, it is possible to modify the torque slip characteristics and hence uh, by the help of VBIF, the slip torque slip characteristics is getting affected in, uh, and hence uh, both the, um, this uh, speed uh, and the maximum torque can be affected can by the VBIF. Yeah. Can you name some drive? Sir, uh, drive. In the mm, what have you actually done? Have you seen the induction motor? Sir, can you please repeat? Your voice was not clear. I was talking about, uh, can you, uh, in the college, can you, uh, have you seen the induction motor? There yes, sir, there was, uh, there was small prototype. Prototype, any drive? Sir, uh, drive, uh, no, sir, there was, uh, uh, I think, uh, no, sir, I, I, I'm not able to recall if there was any or not.
हेलो हेलो या या यस सर यस सर ओके हैव यू सीन द ड्राइव नो सर आई कैन नॉट रिकॉल इफ आई हैव सीन एनी ऑन नॉट व्हाट इज द रोल ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस व्हाइल रोल ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस व्हाइल स्टार्टिंग हेलो sir can you please repeat the question yeah what what is the role of resistance uh, while uh, controlling the speed of the induction motor sir uh, by the help of resistance we can limit the current uh, in uh, any circuit and same goes for induction machine as well so when we mm -hmm. use the uh, resistance we can uh, limit the uh, current and uh, by the help of which the speed of the motor is affected and hence uh, the speed control uh, phenomena is obtained okay okay tell me one thing mm. yes sir if the, if the motor is used for pumping uh, pumping suppose it is submersible pump right yes sir motor is being connected if any pump uh, apart from the submersible pump any diverting pump is there For any mm -hmm. other purpose, right? Mm -hmm. If there is a problem in the system, right? Mm -hmm. uh, being an electrical engineer, uh, what will you generally do? If there is a pump uh, for regulating the oil, if there is mm -hmm. an induction motor is there for controlling the speed mm -hmm. or for regulating the kinetic energy, if there is a problem mm -hmm. in the system, being an electrical engineer in the site, what mm -hmm. do you generally uh, observe in the system? sir uh, first of all i would see whether the voltage and current are within the permissible limits during the problematic condition if they are then i would tackle the problem whatever is occurring and if they are not my first uh, uh, objective or my first job would be to disconnect it from the supply so that no power can be drawn by it and then either uh, the repairing of the motor if it is possible then and there otherwise the replacement of the entire system no, no, i am asking that, what are the problem that the motor has what will be the problem sir the problem may be the short circuit between the winding uh, how the, conductors how, how would you know that if there is there is short circuit winding sir uh, it it will uh, burn and uh, there will be uh, if there is not burn if there is sudden short right then yes, by sir. which equipment you should measure there is sorting there sir uh, we can uh, you uh, use by the help of uh, this overcurrent relay we can uh, observe the sudden uh, uh, re increase in the current and that would give us the idea that uh, current is being drawn then uh, that a uh, sudden short circuit fault has been occurred okay Yes, what are the other, what are the other fault sir in the motor hello hello punit am i audible yes sir now you are audible sir okay what are, what what are the what are the other fault that will be occur in the motor sir uh, uh, fault, fault faults sir uh, it it may go it may uh, stall for uh, like uh, due to disconnection from the supply the motor would uh, can can be uh, permanently stopped uh, so what is, from what do you, what do you mean by stall fault sir uh, it will uh, gradually stop 
uh, uh, while going uh, speed uh, keeps on decreasing and then uh, uh, eventually what is the reason will... what is the reason behind this stall fault sir uh, may due to maybe due to the uh, uh, loose connection from the supply or due to disconnection from the supply because of many reasons like the sudden fault current or short circuiting this okay. and this much if this i compare sir. the induction motor right yes sir the transformer what are the differences that the both the both have sir uh, the major difference is that uh, the no load current in uh, induction motor it is uh, about 40 to 50% and uh, in transformer very less no load current is there and sir secondly since it is a motor hence it is a rotatory machine whereas the induction machine uh, a transformer is a, uh, a stationary device static device and uh, any yes, any more sir uh, the purpose is uh, absolutely different Trans uh, transformer purpose is uh, mainly the uh, transformation of the voltage and uh, the motor purpose is to achieve uh, to supply the load uh, this is uh, supply of mechanical power to the load okay 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 last yes, question sir. yes sir <clears throat> what do you mean by uh, so so okay let me see if there is a motor right if there is a motor yes sir, mm, yes, sir. and it is being used in the field right yes sir oil field sir any field oh, okay sir okay. Mm. then um, can you say that um, by looking at the motor it is a three phase or a single phase yes sir hmm yes sir there should be a starting a starter a starter should be also there for controlling uh, the controlling is also there okay yes sir uh, it, it can, can be evident from from visible ob observation it it uh, it can be clearly identified whether it is a single phase or three phase okay uh, name the oil that is using the transformer sir uh, oil name mm, sir uh, it is a oil which is uh, uh, insulation it provides insulation and uh, you need to listen yes sir okay mm. i don't remember the name sir yeah, no, no no problem it is, it is pvc polyvinyl bicolored but normally we are using mineral oil listen all the question that i have asked today it seems to be very practical one but there yes, uh, there might be that tissue which are approaching to about the different thing they might ask the question in this in this format also and the okay. bookish thing is also there so please go through it uh, what is the motor how it is used in the field how, how the drive is used to implement the motor this question should be asked and the one thing that uh, i want to tell that nowadays we are implemented to what automation industrial 4.0 so the implementation of this induction induction motor with the help of the plc and the drive so these type of if you see these these type of word and these type of things to the interviewer they might add to the uh, add to the value to the answer and might increase the number in the interview so please go through these things what is the actual work that, that is in there in the industry you should be familiar with it okay yes sir now what are the safety things is also there in the industry yes sir right yes sir okay sir uh, safety regarding safety uh, can you tell me some safety points what are the fire hazard what are the oil hazard this this these type of things yeah how to minimize the risk what what are the what is the what is the iso protocol for the safety regulation iso 9000 2014 and 1001 these are safety rules that is used in the industry safety equipment Uh, how to connect the things implementation of the mega multimeter okay clamp meter okay. used in the industry okay motor checker how you can measure the inductance of the motor how you can measure the resistance of the motor these things might be asked okay okay yes sir okay sir uh, 
the fault that that occurred in the motor, na? Yes, sir. How to know the fault that occurred in the motor? How do we? By looking that? at the system, if the, if the sound is coming, and by using the multimeter or the by first of all we check the continuity. If the continuity is not there, then, then generally there is a fault. If continuity is there, then we are checking that uh, what it is the things like uh, is a bearing fault or if there, there is a problem in the pump set or the supply problem. First of all, we are connecting and the continuity thing, the all the, all the three phase with the ground, right? If there is a continuity mm -hmm. there or not, if there is if there is a short, then we generally replace the motor. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. And sir, what are the faults that occur in a the motor? There is a stall fault, line to ground fault, over fault, overload fault, over current fault. These are the faults that occur in the motor. Okay. Yes, sir.